you know reasoning models exist but can you take an existing model and make an agent and make that agent a reasoning agent that is exactly what we are going to discuss in this particular video with a very few lines of python code you can build reasoning agents using a library called agno i want to show you two different examples that actually blew my mind and i'm going to show you the example with olama so that you can run this on your local machine all the code will be in the youtube description so that you can easily get started this is an agentic framework you can go to this agent agno agent and they've introduced something new which is called reasoning agents the idea is that can you have chain of thought but also give access to tools and this makes a really really powerful combination in my opinion even if your model is not really really good let me show you what is the use case i used it with and then i'll show you the code how you can build the same first of all there is this use case i wanted the model to write a short story i said write a short story about life in uh, 500000 years or something like that and you know it it actually went through a process we'll see the process later and then it says the user had asked me to write a short story about life in 500 million years is it 500 million in the first place let me just see no it's not it's 5 million years okay i can forgive you for this first i need to establish how this time frame affects human life on earth and then it just goes on into a lot of details and then finally gives us a decent enough short story and all this was possible only with a 1.5 billion parameter model it's not open ai it's not cloud thinking it's none of these models a very simple 1.5 billion parameter model which you can ideally run on even 8 gb or 16 gb ram machine and powered by olama thanks to agno this is possible and the way it came about this so let's see the thinking process of this first of all it's like oh write a short story about life in 5 million years identify the problem reasoning step 1 addressing the problem scope and boundaries the user is interested in exploring life beyond human dimensions for a long time which challenges existing philosophical pers perspectives this presents an opportunity to explore new interpretations of life self and meaning on a grand scale see none of this is specified in the input prompt as you can see here my input prompt is just simply this and i just added one extra parameter here which is turn on this argument in this case the parameter reasoning and i just set a boolean value true and that enable this model to do all these things this uh agentic framework to do all these things reasoning step 2 breakdown strategies and uh, in the breakdown strategies develop strategies you can see that this multifaceted approach allows us to thorough for thorough investigation of each angle without missing any significant aspects what are those aspects breaking down the task into manageable components identifying distinct approaches such as interdisciplinary research technological exploration historical analysis scientific inquiry and philosophical reflection is so nice to see a 1.5 billion parameter model getting all these kind of access that we have got how is this code so code is very simple first from agno.agent import agent so that's the first thing second you have to import the model so where are you going to import the model from you want to import the model from olama client so from olama import client as olama client and from agno.models.olama import olama see i just wanted this tutorial to be something everybody can run like anybody can run that is exactly why i decided to choose a smaller size model and also not open ai but if you have got access to open ai models you can just simply go agno.models.openai and then you can just like import open ai chat it will probably have a different tutorial where i dive deeper into this particular library and this is a completely open source library so you can just go ahead and then use it nobody's going to charge you anything now the task is what you have to specify what you want the model to do what you want the agent in this particular case to do write a short story about life in 5 million years then you create a reasoning agent you uh, wrap it around agent you have got the model model is olama this is one model that you have got to download it in your computer so i've got already like a bunch of models if you see here olama list i've got all these models available here on my computer so i can use this models anytime i want and this is one of the models using the client olama client reasoning is true markdown is true and then you use reasoning agent dot print response and then you give the task to it you ask it like if you want to stream you want to see the full reasoning that's it and with just like literally if you see my editor it is including this break lines it's just 12 line of code and we have got a brilliant leverage of 1.5 billion parameter model and i'll show you another example in this case this is not a creative example rather than more like a coding uh, explainer so i've got this uh, code okay so let me just keep it down here 
I've got this code, which is a very simple list comprehension in Python. Okay. And I'm not mentioning that this is list comprehension. That's something that you have to see here. I hope I get the right response. In this case, I'm using a deep C coder 6.7 billion parameter models. Nowhere related to thinking model. This came long before thinking models, long before reasoning models. Once again, this model is already available on my local machine. The code is almost same, except very few changes. So here you are just defining the entire task instead of creating a separate object called task. So the code is like list comprehension is their fruits, apple, banana, cherry, kiwi, mango. And then you have got the list comprehension and then you're looking for a, and then if a is there, then you're going to just print it. So I'm going to just explain this code and include an ASCII, ASCII AST abstract syntax tree. If you, if you know what is AST diagram of the same, I don't think it does a pretty good job of AST. I mean, I can forgive it because it's just like very old model, nothing new. And uh, I'm making this model do a lot more heavy lifting than what this model is supposed to be doing. So we'll clear the terminal just in case to open it for you. And then we'll just run the code. Okay. It started thinking, as you can see here, the moment I run the code, it's going to go into the thinking mode with this particular model. We can always change the explanation of this model and then see how the model is going to do. So it's trying to understand the logic. First of all, explain the logic behind each line. Uh, one thing that I should have probably done is I could have given a new line here. So that could have helped. So you can see here. So the provided list is this, the comprehension logic applied here is that this one, which means for each fruit X in fruits list, add it to a new list only if there is an A in its name. This is such a brilliant explanation of list comprehension. And then the results into uh, apple, banana, kiwi. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's something that I don't think it has done well. Kiwi shouldn't be there, right? So ASCII AST diagram, I couldn't generate an ASCII diagram, but it gives me an instruction about how to create an ASCII diagram. In my previous um, example, like when I read the code before, it actually provided an ASCII diagram for me so that I can use it. I'm going to run the same thing, okay, but with a different model. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to just go clear this Olama list. So this will give me all the models I've got. I'm going to pick one of these models. Maybe like I can go with um, command R7. Okay, I'm going to go with this E coder which is another smaller model, but in this case, much, much smaller, but it's a coding specific model. So I want to clear this, run this, and then see what is it going to do. So it's the same question, but we are sending it to a much smaller model and then see if it has got any capability near to whatever we were trying to do. So it even hallucinated, I think. Uh, okay. So the provided code for the solution would look like this. And um, it's this, yeah, it does the, this code will provide the list of all fruits which have a in their name. So you can see that it did the explanation well, but it could not create the ASCII diagram once again, because the model is not really big enough. But the best part here is that you can experiment this with a different sort of tools, either the tools that you have created out yourself, or, you know, like even these guys, uh, they have created a own set of tools. You've got like a bunch of tools available and, um, you've got MCPs, you've got the Python function as tool and a lot of other things are available, which make it really, really interesting for me to explore this particular framework further. And I'm hoping probably to spend more time with this particular framework so I can have like a series or like an extended tutorial. If you have got used, um, if you have already used this particular framework, let me know in the comment section, or if you're a fan of land graph or crew AI or any of this framework, what is it? Something that you love about these agent frameworks love to know and learn more about it. See you in another video. Happy prompting.